In this lesson, I will show you how to read a tape rule correctly. A tape measure has two sides. One side is in inches and the other side is in centimeters. The inches side goes all the way to 60 inches while the centimeter side goes all the way to 150 centimeters. In this lesson, we'll focus on the inches side because this is what we're going to be using in this course. Let's get started. So I'm going to use this tape to demonstrate how to read a tape rule. An inch is divided into eight equal parts. A standard tape measure usually has markings at various intervals to represent measurements in inches. So, and these are the markings. So I'm going to be using between 19 and 20. So from this long line on 19 to the next long line, 20, it's a one inch. The breakdown by eight means that between each whole inch mark, between each from here to here, this is one inch. So between each of them, these tiny marks in between, between each whole inch mark, there are markings to indicate each eighth of an inch. So into 20, we have eight small marks in between. There are eight, so I'm gonna count them now. You see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are eight marks. So between each mark, you will see a series of smaller tick marks. These are the series of smaller tick marks. These are the tick marks we just counted. And these tick marks break down the inch into eights, allowing for precise measurements beyond whole inches. This is one. It says one eighth of an inch. So from this 19 in between, from here to the end, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight marks from 19 to 20. So this is how it's usually represented. The large numbers, these large ones, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and so on, indicate whole inches. Between each whole inch, there are usually smaller tick marks to represent the eighths of an inch. These tick marks are usually shorter lines. You can see these ones are shorter lines than the whole. See the whole ones are full, they are longer lines. And in between here are shorter lines. I'm showing you from 19 to 20. So this is the first shorter line. So the first shorter line after this whole inch mark, this represents one eighth of an inch. So this first one is one eighth of an inch then the second one this is the second one the second shorter line represent one quarter of an inch that's two eighths of an inch so this first one is one over eight one eighth this second one is two eighths of an inch so this second one is one quarter then the third shorter line represents three eighths of an inch so one two three this third one three eighths of an inch then the fourth one this is the fourth one one two three four this fourth one represents half an inch that's four eighths of an inch four over eight four over eight if you break it down it's gonna be half so this is half an inch then the fifth shorter line represents five eighths of an inch this is the fifth one this is five eighths of an inch. Then the sixth shorter line, this is the sixth shorter line, represents six eighths of an inch. And that is three quarter, three quarter of an inch. This one, this sixth one, that is three quarter of an inch. And three quarter of an inch is the same as six eighths of an inch for the tape rule. Then the seventh shorter line, this seventh one represents seven eighths of an inch and then this now between 18 and 19 is one inch for example we're measuring this you align it with the appropriate mark if it is this fine and if it is this fine just align it where we broke down the little tick marks you should be able to read your tape rule that way measuring with the appropriate tick mark to get an accurate measurement in eighths 
of an inch. This level of detail is particularly useful in sewing where precision matters for achieving the best fit and ensuring that your garments turn out just right. So this is the way to read a tape rule. For every single one of them, it's the same thing. Eight, eight, eight. So there are eight in between. And then you can read it that way. The first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then the eighth one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.